Uh, don't mouth. eat it for it. Not for your mouth, and it doesn't have any nuts in it. <laughs> <laughs> a few announcements before we do introductions. Hi, I'm Darcy. I think we all know each other. This is great. I love, I love these, uh, my, my wonderful long distance intrepid walkers. Thank you. Our wonderful community member, Ina, who is a maker, a star maker, and uses the maker space, the building uh, 61 maker space at uh, the library made these wonderful medallions for us. Thank you for being here. This is, uh, we, some of us, this is in my bones. I know this route inside and out. So just follow along. Ned's gonna zoom ahead. trail here at the north side of Chautauqua. I'm going to be stopping up here for a little water refill at the water pump and gather with the rest of the crew before continuing on into South Boulder. Absolutely beautiful day today. It's going to be a hot one, but with views like this, who can complain? Okay, now we're leaving Chautauqua's general store and starting to head towards South Boulder. Now we're back on the trails here at Chautauqua. And again, you can see the flat irons there in the background. And now we're in the technical section of the trail. Heading southbound from Chautauqua. Should have known I would have gotten a good trail workout in today. And there's some of the beautiful views along the way. You can see I'm in the shadows, but the mountains are in the sun. Absolutely beautiful. Woo! Okay. We're earning our trail now. Introduce yourself and uh, tell us about what we're doing today. Hey, I'm Bria Tavacoli and we are out walking a marathon today in beautiful Boulder, Colorado. Yeah, it's like the 360. We're walking all the way around the <laughs> circumference of, of Boulder. And why would we do that? Well, I mean, for me, I just, I really like a challenge and this is a really good group of people that Darcy has assembled and I figured why the heck not? I used to, as I was just saying to John before we hit record that I used to walk around New York City like all the time. Yeah. Like long, epic walks. Yeah, yeah. So this is basically a long, epic walk in a very different environment, but it feels great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we're, uh, at, currently we're sort of in the, the trails uh, just south of Chautauqua. And, I guess it's probably technically the Mesa Trail, if I remember correctly. And uh, so you're relatively new to Boulder. Mm -hmm. Talk a little bit about that move yeah. and that adjustment from, you know, New York City urban life, <laughs> walking and biking, or, yeah. or at least walking a yeah, lot. Yeah, I used Using... to bike in New York a okay, lot. Okay, good. So what's that adjustment been like? Well, it's been really, it's been really fun because it's just I get to stay really active and log a fair amount of miles, but I get to do it in a different way. Right. Because it's just more, I mean, this is more, there are a lot more natural options. 
And also what we've been doing in the group has been really fun for me being new to the city. Like I get to discover Boulder um, on foot. Right. And I just really enjoy that. Like I'm getting to see parts of this of Boulder that I probably would not have really become familiar with had I just kind of stuck to my neighborhood and just driving my car everywhere. Right. So um, I don't loving it yeah it's been perfect way to get to know the city as a new person yeah that's a good point you know yeah. and, and obviously you sort of arrived in a weird part yeah <laughs> a weird time because you yeah. arrived in the middle of a pandemic i but, did i got here yeah. two months before like the lockdowns but i've said many times that you know i almost can't i can't really think of a better place to spend to have spent that time right and then in colorado because I could just go and just be in the outdoors, like just walk outside basically. Right, yeah. And if I wanted to go further afield, you know, just a little bit more deeper into nature, like that's been, you know, it's been an option all along. So I just, I feel really, really blessed. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's really special. And really Darcy's group, the, the Boulder Ramblers, how often do you try to get out and, and do the walks with the group? I'm, I feel like I've been consistently walking with this group for um, a few months, uh, definitely this summer, I've been pretty consistent about once a week. Okay. So that's been cool. Yeah. And then also I'm able to, you know, tomorrow we're gonna do a yoga class that I'm gonna lead to help help us recover from this adventure. Oh <laughs> yay, that's great. Yeah, so we're gonna be stretching out and stuff. So I'm super excited to kind of like give back to the group that way. Fantastic. Now are you a yoga instructor? Is that your career? That's one of my careers. Okay. That's, that's one of my things that I've done. I'm a bit of a, have a, mul a multifaceted offering. <laughs> uh, don't we all? Yeah, so that's one of them. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much. It's been an absolute joy uh, getting to uh, know you a little bit better and, yeah. and chat a little bit about yeah. that transition. It's really fun to walk and talk. Absolutely. That's one of the best things about this group is just the conversations and to be able to see awesome places and meet cool people and do fun things while just like moving through a beautiful place. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And you're quite good at it because we're in really technical stuff right now. Yeah, we actually are. <laughs> so you better turn that camera off. <laughs> <laughs> no, everybody stay hydrated from now on. Yeah, you too. It's going to get hotter and hotter. <laughs> All right, so yeah, Ned right. calls this the heat zone. No kidding. Well, we. Uh, We've been going here for uh, a little while and uh, it, it was nice to get most of the difficult hilly stuff done in the morning here. Um, I'm thankful that the afternoon is gonna be on relatively flat and uh, <laughs> rolling hill, because we'll be way down there by that time of the day. So, good stuff. Hey, right here. All right, woohoo! And here we go. back in the urban environment. Here we are. You can see the hills that we came down out of. We're at Shanahan Ridge now. Fan Shanahan Trail. And again, one of uh, the areas I used to run on all the time. Lots of nice little connectors here. And you can see now we're at the far southern edge here, coming down, dropping down towards the high school. And there's Fairview High School, again looking down on Vili Lake. And just off Ned's shoulders there, you can see Incar. All right, fantastic. Well, we made it to our lunch spot here and uh, we are super stoked. And the spread. Watermelon, yeah, there we go. Watermelon, cantaloupe, grapes, sandwiches galore. Here we go! Yes! Yay! They're here. This is our evening. Yeah, look, check out this spread.
see you out there. this route in 2017 I saw it like a clock mm -hmm. clock face all around the perimeter of Boulder and so of course I just thought well we'll go clockwise we'll start in the north the northernmost point mm -hmm. go around to the east and stop in the south halfway come around the west and be finished right so we did that the first two years mm -hmm. until the second year when the big group that I had I think the first year we only had 15 people with us. The second year, we had close to 40. And after lunch, people looked up at the mountains and said, we have to go up there. <laughs> and there were a lot of suggestions that rolled in right. about doing it the other way. Right. And it just hadn't occurred to me. See, well, what I had also thought with the clockwise concept was that, you know, the western part of the city is shadier. It's, it's a more leafy, um, densely wooded area. So I thought it would be nice after, in the afternoon, to be in the more shady area. Right. But of course, that part also comes with a lot of up and down, a lot of climbing. And it is hard to do that after the lunch rest. Right. And so you really get to know the topography of Boulder walking all around the perimeter. And it has just proven to make more sense to start in the north, go around west, have a nice lunch in the south and then the gentle walk back up to that northernmost point after lunch. So that's where we are now. We're heading into Tantra Park. It is a little bit less leafy on this side, but you know, we can test that because most of these paths and um, streets and sidewalks that we'll be on on this half really are in nicely forested neighborhoods. So Decent tree canopy. Decent tree canopy, really. Yeah. And of course, I mean, Boulder as a whole has a really nice tree canopy. But this edge, it may not be nearly as sort of sunny and hot as I assumed it would be. Right. Um, and 2019, it worked out perfectly. And here we are. So here Tantra we are. Tantra Park. Tantra Park. Yeah. Yeah, and the so infrastructure. Again, yeah. And, and so again, this is John with the Active Towns Initiative, and I'm here with Darcy Kitching. Yay! Darcy, what on earth are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> we are doing the Boulder Walk 360 Slow Marathon. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> we are walking 26 miles all the way around the city of Boulder. <laughs> <sighs> oh my gosh, the things I sign up to do with you, I tell ya. So yeah, it, so we were just talking about uh, earlier before we started, anyways, we were talking earlier about uh, the direction that we're going. So yeah. we're no longer doing the clockwise route, which was the original route. We're doing the counterclockwise route. I was uh, mentioning just a moment ago, makes sense. It's a hot day. Yeah. <laughs> we're 90 degrees today. Yeah. So getting that hard stuff done yeah. on the the more challenging terrain of the mountains makes more sense. When but it's cool you know, yeah. it's like we got some good stuff here. Look at this. Oh. So beautiful. What inspired you to do this particular walk? This particular event? Honestly, I was sitting in a meeting. <laughs> I was part of the Boulder Walk and Bike Month um, team. Mm -hmm. As a contractor for the city of Boulder, I was developing the Boulder Walks program. And for more than 20 years during Walk and Bike Month, which has traditionally been June, um, the city has collaborated with Community Cycles to have what they call a B360, a Boulder 360, or a Bike 360, it stands for a B360. So it's a loop um, around part of the city that you can do on bike, um, and there's sort of a family-friendly, smaller loop and a more challenging loop for adults. 
And, I, and we were sitting there talking about the B360. And I said, why don't we have a Walk 360? And so I pulled up Google Maps in this meeting and I just started looking and I was like, oh, wouldn't it be amazing to just go all around the perimeter of the city because Boulder is such a well-defined area. Right. It's a 25 square mile area, right? And it's in this elliptical shape almost. And you could easily see, and I had had a lot of experience on the trails and the multi-use paths. So I kind of knew what connected where. And as I refined that initial drawing, right. I sort of drew it out during the meeting and I turned my computer to show my colleague and he looked at me like, huh, that's an idea, you know? <laughs> and so I just developed it. So this was 2017. I think it must have been about February 2017 and we did it. We promoted it and did it. We developed a logo for it and got some stickers and it was really fun. And so we did it for the first time that summer, that June. and. Um, now, this year, as I was saying at the very beginning of this walk, I have walked this route 12 times. This is my 13th time circling wow. the city of Boulder because I've done it in various configurations. Right. I've done it all in one day, at least four times. I've done it, or maybe five times. And then I've done it in segments multiple times with multiple groups. And it is so rewarding. I. I have found and my community members have found that it's just so fun to experience all the different surfaces that one can walk on and how easily you can connect all these segments. So there are places, you know, where even bikes can't go, of course, where we can, we can go on foot, we can experience everything rocky dirt trails like this one <laughs> um and this was streets, and, and this sidewalks. and this was a transition off of a little goat path through yeah. a grassy Park. area <laughs> yeah. yeah and so this route covers dirt and gravel trails sidewalks multi-use paths streets without sidewalks alleyways um everything you can think of multi-use paths and it really brings, it connects the whole city. And we see all the different kinds of neighborhoods, you know, and this morning we walked through beautiful architect designed <laughs> neighborhoods with big custom houses. Um, closer to lunchtime, we walked toward a more suburban neighborhood with more developments and various um, houses built over, you know, between the 50s and the 80s. Um, historic homes in the historic center part of Boulder, um, multi-use families. So now multi-use uh, apartments and complexes. So this part of the walk, that's where we get more into um, the um, more mixed income communities. And um, so we really see everything that Boulder is. Right. And I think that that is important i think that it's uplifting and i think that it's encouraging to everyone to know not just everything that boulder is made of but where where different things tend to be and right. and my own personal mission uh, i'm a supporter of mixed income housing community-based housing and I, I would really like to have more conversations about how we can intersperse more of all of this throughout the whole city. So, right. you know, instead of really just having the fancy neighborhoods and the lower income neighborhoods and, you know, just really make sure that it's all available to everyone. Right. And that that's really important to me as an urban planner and also as just a, a rambler and a walk leader and an explorer. I call myself an urban explorer. That's really what I am. Yeah. Yeah. And There's I love a, this. It looks like our group is caught up to yeah. us. You can see our fine group behind us here. <laughs> we pause just a moment there to let them catch up. Yeah, so. and it takes a really intrepid person and crew, you know, to come out and take advantage of this invitation. 
So I'm so proud of everyone for joining us today on, of course, what had to be the hottest day of the week. We had a beautiful 70 degree day yesterday. It's gonna be like 82 tomorrow, and of course it's 90 today, but we're weathering it and it's beautiful and we're doing great. Yeah, that's good stuff. So you wrote a book uh, about urban hikes yeah. here in Boulder. Uh, I get the sense that some of what we're gonna walk on are, is some of the stuff that you may have profiled. Is Absolutely. that the case? Absolutely, yes indeed. So. The South Boulder Creek Trail that we're approaching soon is in my book. Okay. Um, and so one reason I didn't include this particular route in the book mm -hmm. um, is because it is a bit complicated. I mean, I do have turn-by-turn -turn directions, a PDF of the turn-by-turn -turn directions and maps that are available to the public on the City of Boulder's website. So right. people can guide themselves. But it is a more complicated route. In my book, I really focused on trail systems that are easy to navigate on your own. Right. So they tend to be start at a trailhead, do a loop. Um, not all of them. Some of them are more of our creative routes, like the Love and, Bo Love and on Boulder heart-shaped loop, which I love. <laughs> and there are some common fun hikes, like from NCAR, but really they, they tend to be all um, east of the foothills in these more um, urban trail systems. Uh, and they include every everything in Boulder County as a whole. So not just in the city of Boulder. Uh -huh, okay. uh, in the city of Boulder, um, that comprises just a, a small number of the routes in the book. The book covers the entire county. Got it. So yeah, it's a little more, it's, it's more extensive than what we're covering today, but, right. but anybody can explore this route on their own with those directions and maps that are on the city of Boulder's website, um, boulderwalks.org. At boulderwalks.org, fantastic. Yeah. And how can somebody get a copy of your book? My book is called The Best Urban Hikes Boulder, published by the Colorado Mountain Club Press. It's on Amazon, it's on the Colorado Mountain Club Press website. Um, you could get one directly from me, signed, if you'd like it hand-delivered. There, there you go. <laughs> Um, and it, they're in a lot of places. I'd like mine hand delivered to Austin, Texas. <laughs> oh wait, no, I already have you one. You have a copy, that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> they're at REI, um, Neptune Mountaineering, a variety of shops around Boulder. Um, so kind of wherever you get your outdoor gear, you should be able to find it. And if not, just get in touch with me and I'll be happy to send you one. Fantastic. <laughs> so we are now at the part of the day this is the, the most stressful connection on the Walk 360, and it's still, um, it's still a pretty good connection because it is a dedicated bikeway. We do have to look, look out for bikes. As you can see, this is a popular bikeway, so make sure to stay on the right, only two by two or single file. But this is the most stressful part of our day because we're going alongside the highway here. So just try to kind of keep that in mind and know that soon we will enter the South Boulder Creek Trail and it's lovely and we'll be back to shade and away from cars. But this is also the reality of urban hiking and how we navigate and create connections. This is why we can circle all the way around the city because of these kinds of connections, even though they're a little difficult. So. Um, so yeah, so just let the stress evaporate as we walk and know that it will be over soon. <laughs> Yay. And really, when we think about it, uh, we're, we're on a multi-use path. It's a very wonderful pathway system that has been created recently. But to, to Darcy's point, it's right along Highway 36. And that gets to the, the noise that is there and present from the motor vehicles. Now, we're completely protected from those motor vehicles, but we're still walking alongside them. So you have that stress of the, the motor vehicle noise. Yeah. And it, I mean, it's, it's amazing how impactful noise is on our health and well-being. It really is. And what a gift that for most of this day, we don't have to endure that stress. I mean, this, this day is really about being outside, being in nature, even walking through neighborhoods, being in nature. And this is the one part where there's a lot, there's there's still nature, you know, it's interesting because there's nature all to the south here, right. highway all to the north, um, but there isn't the tree overhang, the shade, and of course the, there's the high volume of 
traffic and noise and yeah that just gets under your skin and yeah. it gets in your head um, and people you know people who dwell in cities know how to manage that stress and it's some for some people it just becomes white noise um, but it, it's very tangible today because so much of our day isn't spent with this kind of noise right so we're we're incredibly fortunate and I often call parts of this route, you know, sort of gratitude loops, because we can be so grateful that Boulder has these environments where we really can escape from the stresses of civilization in the city. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that's such a, such a good point. And, and I love the fact that you, you took the time to explain it to the group that, we, hey, we're transitioning into an area where it's gonna feel different. It feels different. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna feel different. Here's a good here's a good image here to see how close we are, you know, to the um, the highway. So it's it's Highway 36, and uh, fortunately, this path exists. Fortunately, they got this built, um, and most of the way, it's it's actually quite pleasant. But you are alongside. Yeah. A busy highway. And if you're on a bike, it's a really different experience. So I right. rode back along this path when I bought my bike at Bike Shop Girl right. in Aurora. You know, I rode home and I was so grateful for this path because, yeah, it was an efficient, an efficient way to get home from Denver. Right. It's a wonderful amenity. And if you're on the bike, you know, it goes faster and, and you're thinking about other things and you're, you're moving a, a vehicle and it's just different but when you're walking you can really feel it and of course there's the baking off the concrete <laughs> this is a tough it's a tough day right for a tough segment like this well and now you can yeah. see more of the well a couple things let's pause just yeah. a second here so we can you know appreciate the the little view of the pond here yeah. flat irons in the background we're on the other side of a berm this berm right over here and so you can tell how much quieter it is just when you have something as simple as a berm. It's true. It, yeah, it went away, didn't it? Yeah. The loud yep. noise. The loudest part of it. Went yeah. away for a bit, yeah. yeah. And we hear a bike, you know, coming up behind us here. Hopefully. Yep, I there love we go. the width of this path. I mean, yeah. notice the width of this path. Yes. It must be it 16 looks, feet? Yeah, no, it looks 12? to be between 14, maybe 16 yeah, feet. Yeah, that's what I thought. And it's um, just lovely. In, in my <laughs> well, exactly. And in, in my episode uh, on the podcast uh, with uh, Jeffrey Bag from East Hampton, Massachusetts, we, you know, th this topic came up is like, yeah. you know, how how wide should a path be? And I'm like, you can't make it too as wide. wide as possible. <laughs> as wide as possible. <laughs> this is the reason why. Because you will be able to accommodate so many more people of different modes. Let's swing swing around and get a crew. A shot of the group and you'll see you know they're taking a they're taking up half of the width of the the path and uh, still giving plenty of room for the bikes that need to be able to make it through exactly and you know it's true a path and your videos of Amsterdam you know and other places mm -hmm. so beautifully illustrate that that Active infrastructure really should be as wide as auto infrastructure. Right. Because more people can actually move through it and it creates that comfort and it invites people into it. If this didn't exist, well, I'll tell you, the first year we did this route in 2017, this was not completed. We actually, we actually, walked we went over the highway on that pedestrian bridge in the park and ride ah. so the bus park and ride we actually went up the stairs across the highway on the pedestrian bridge down the stairs and then up through a park so it was a different route i was only able to create this and a more true ellipse around the city um, once it was finished and in place so yeah it's a great asset but you know, no shade cover. <laughs> um, but we have a nice breeze, which I'm grateful for. Um, yeah, it's 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 high, it's high stress on a on a body, um, but it's a great asset to have. Right. So ideally, we would have 
paths this wide, going everywhere people need to go, really accommodating and facilitating activity all day long. Right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And perhaps some shade trees along Ooh. the way. Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice. A little bit. That'd be nice. Luther is coming up. Woohoo! Just in case anybody needs anything. Yeah. So I, I hope that clip picked up some of that that loud car noise. It's actually, it's interesting because as you can probably tell, it's probably really hard to hear me right now. But once motor vehicles get above a certain speed, most of the noise comes from the tires. If you'll notice with that whole platoon that just went by, it's gonna get quiet because there's a little break in the action here. Especially with that truck right there, you can probably tell it's really the noise that comes from the tires and a little bit of the exhaust, especially if they have modified their exhaust to make it noisier, <laughs> which is illegal Boys. and should be illegal. <laughs> Hashtag, what did you say? <laughs> Boys. Boys. <laughs> Boys. Boys and their toys. So anyways, the reason why I wanted to point this out is even if we make the switch to having electric vehicles, the noise pollution that we have with automobiles is mostly still gonna be there because after a certain speed, can't remember exactly what speed it is, the majority of the noise is coming from the friction from the tires. Now we're underneath Highway 36. The beams. Yeah. You can kind of hear the drumbeat of the cars as they go over. Boom, 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 boom. See? Drumbeat. This is something. Yeah. The drumbeat metaphor is kind of interesting. It gives yeah. you a different sense of where we are. You can see the mountains. There's this lovely creek here, South Boulder Creek. Here's our crew. So Darcy, it's been several years since the last time we were recording on this path. Yeah. Remember that? Oh, that yeah. was a long time ago. That was a long time ago. We did... Uh, 2017. Yeah, nice little uh, yeah. walk along the path here. Yeah. And again, you can still see a little bit and hear a little bit the motor vehicle noise. Um, but for the most part, it's a much more pleasant part of our route today. Yeah. One of the many. The South Boulder Creek Trail, correct? Yes. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, a little bike coming through. There we go. And we're starting to see the leaves change. Yeah. Isn't this Beautiful. nice? I love it. I love visiting in uh, September because we just start to see the fall colors coming in. Yeah. And it's rare that it gets too snowy in September. <laughs> that's true. Well, right. This time last year, we did have a storm. Yeah, that's right. As a matter of fact. Crazy. Yeah. Woo. Rain. <laughs> How are we doing back here? All good, all good? Yeah. Woo hey. Nice work. Hey. And we're coming up to another one of our trailheads here. And here we are on the South Boulder Creek Trail. Just walk through that section. 
And we're getting ready to continue heading north. Okay, we're on the far east side here. <laughs> Off in the distance there is Stasio Ballparks. So we're, we're on part of the incredible network of multi-use paths that, uh, that Boulder has. I can't tell you the number of times I've ridden on these uh, pathways to be able to get out to the country roads, you know, yeah. like go over to 63rd and, and then be able to just ride for hours out into yeah. the, the countryside. Yeah. And it, these pathways, the whole network of pathways here helps make that happen facilitates that. And now we're at the Valmont Bike Park. Well, we got the snacks in the park. Another aid station here. Darcy. Yeah. How many uh, miles are we in, do you think? Ooh. Roughly? Um, there he is. Roughly. Yeah. I'm sorry, I have no, I have no concept. <laughs> but we know that, you know, usually about three hours in, so, and you think it's, uh, or, it's another or three o'clock. Three hours, yeah, yeah, so, so. Three, it's another two hours, so that's six miles, or we're 20 miles in at this point. Okay, so yeah. 20 miles in. Uh -huh. Boom, there you go. Woo! And another fabulous aid station. Woohoo! And there's kids in at mile 20, and I'm like, yay! <laughs> this is what I call home, and I say, I'm so happy! <laughs> mile 20, baby! <laughs> it's the best. It's the best. It's the best. Darcy, can you get down there? <laughs> Woo! All right, Darcy, what does that say? Life at three miles per hour. Oh, that's cool. Yay. <laughs> Need a big heart around it? Yes, I was just gonna do that. Nice. Oh, that's lovely. Way to go. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> kind of great. <laughs> Hashtag Rock 360. This, this section in particular, yeah. I love this section. It's always, it's one of those wonderful tree tunnels that always feels refreshing. Right, yeah, so yeah. Here it's 3.30, close to 4 p.m. And this is such a cool corridor that just makes our afternoon <laughs> cools us down and it's like such you a gift. Yeah. yeah and like you said too it was like it was such a gift too to have like somebody leaving chalk yeah. out sidewalk chalk so an that you could do that an invitation these communal community and neighborly invitations are such a fun part of what we discover on this route because we go through so many different kinds of neighborhoods and it's fun to see how people engage each other right. and what they want to give to the community and how we can contribute back. Right. Yeah. Love but. it. Absolutely beautiful. And here's some more of that tree camp. Oh, that tree camp. Oh. So Darcy, we're uh, closing in on, on the final miles. You've done this many, many, many times. We got a good crew here today, don't we? We do, this is fantastic. I worked really hard this year to make sure that the people who were choosing to come could do it. And yeah. I think I think we, we did well in that regard. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're continuing along the Wonderland Creek Trail. 
still making our way north, northwest. Of the segments, you know, when I was working with the city, yeah, I wanted to take people onto these new um, amenities, right? So they could learn where they were and how nice they were and how to use them. Um, yeah. Yep, we go under through the underpass, but then we go to the right. Just climbed up out of the Holiday neighborhood, approaching Lee Hill Drive. We're hitting very close to the end. This new construction that you can see off to my shoulder here is the old armory being redeveloped into housing. What a day! What a day! Nice. We started when the sun was rising. was happening and we're ending as the sun is starting to approach the mountains. Woohoo! <laughs> Literally almost there. <laughs> So, so close. Okay, approaching the finish line. Just about 5 p.m. We've been out this since a little after seven. And it's so good to be here. Walk Boulder 360. Woo! Yes, nice. Yes. Woo! Great job, everyone. Amazing. Look at those smiles. Oh my gosh. Everyone is beaming. All right. Yes. Woo -hoo -hoo. You two are beaming. Look at that. Great job. Run the last little bit, too. There you go. Finish it off. Woo -hoo. Amazing work. Great job. Yes, woohoo! Way to go, way to go! Nice work! The 2021 Boulder 360 Slow Marathon is done! Nice! Woo! What a great job! Congratulations, the 2021 Walk Boulder 360 Slow Marathon is done. Way to go. All right, all right, all right. Woo! Can you um, believe it? Look at that. It is done. Nice work, nice work. The 2021 Boulder Slow Marathon all done. Great job. Woo That's right. All right, everybody's getting their stick out. We circled Boulder by foot. We did exactly what this says. We circled Boulder by foot. Yes. Spread the word that you accomplished this awesome thing. You walked all the way around Boulder. And I am so proud of you. 
awesome. Yes. Thank you, Darcy. Thank you all. Thank you. You're just amazing. Yes. Yes.